Hey, welcome in and thank you for joining this unboxing of the Spider Hero Pack, part of Marvel Champions the Card Game. If you enjoyed this video and this kind of content, please comment and subscribe below. Alright, so let's dive into the Spider Hero Pack. Um, I know when I see this, my mind automatically says SPDR as the name of the hero, but um, I always hear it pronounced Spider, which makes complete sense. Um, so we're going to open it up. Oh no, there we go. And let's see what we get. All right, so we're going to take a look at the art and the little poster we're given. Uh, we whoop, bring this up, turn it around, and there's Spider for you. Pretty, pretty cool. Got the little stickers on them. Nice. So we flip this over, and um, yeah, it just has information about how it works. Um, this is something that I might have to read over as uh, much as I've seen it played. Um, Spider has a lot of different mechanics that we haven't seen before. So opening up, let's take a look and dive in. All right. So we will, these things for whatever reason are always not easy for me because I don't want to just tear it open even though I'm going to throw the plastic away anyway or recycle. Let's see. Oh my goodness. We'll try the other side. There we go. <laughs> it's fun as always. Cool, cool, cool. Alrighty. So we're going to set this aside and take a look at the spider suit. Um, it's a 222 hero with a three hand size, which seems startling, um, but Spider has a lot of ways to generate resources, which is cool. So <clears throat> looking at the, I get hit points of 14, which is powerful as well. Uh, the spider suit gets a resource. You exhaust an interface upgrade control and you generate that upgrades resources. So once you get all your interface upgrades out, you can use those as resources, which is pretty handy. Um, so I believe you come in on the support side and you start with Penny Parker but this card is permanent this card's printing text cannot be treated as if it were blank that's a good addition um, so when you flip to this side flip spider to Penny Parker and detach Penny Parker from here moving all counters on her and cards to this card cool 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 um, so that comes in and then here's Penny Parker's side. Um, I think you I would start on this side. Um, so here's your alter ego, um, your civilian. You have a psychogenetic compatibility where when you're setting up, you put spider suit into play on the inactive side. And, oh, that's cool, alter ego action. You exhaust the spider suit and you get to draw two cards. Very cool. And on her other side, when your hero's in and Penny is not. She's the pilot of Spider, so um, you have Suit Up, which is a force interrupt. When you flip to this side, flip the Spider Suit to his active side, attach this card to the Spider Suit, moving all counters on this card or cards attached to the Spider Suit. So here's the two different versions, Alter Ego and Hero. We'll keep these down here. And then you get to look at the actual deck for Spider. Um, I don't think I've actually seen this card before. This is pretty cool. Um, you get a Venom of Addy Brock. Four cost ally, one thwart, one attack. You get plus one thwart and attack for each sim counter on her. That's cool. After Venom enters play, place one sim counter on her for each resource generated by Spider's sink ratio to play her oh okay cool 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 so if you use resources to play her you can get a lot of thwart and attack there pretty cool um i'm going to put these up here we'll keep going through so you get three all system goes where <clears throat> you either ready each interface you control so that's even more um, resource generation or actually just using those cards or you can search your deck 
for an interface upgrade. So getting those upgrades out is not too bad and then this helps you use them even more. That's a pretty awesome card. You get two rapid deployments where you remove three threat from a scheme. If you paid for this using a sync ratio, oh my goodness, remove three threat from a scheme. So this is a six threat card here that you can use, which is pretty insane. You get two web traps, um, you deal five damage to an enemy and then you can stun that enemy as well if you used the sync ratio to um, play that. And you can use this, this isn't once per turn, the sync ratio is you exhaust an interface you control and generate the resource. That's Banana Lands, very cool cards. Um, so you get a support, you get Aunt May and Uncle Ben where you can exhaust them and discard the top two cards of your deck, top three cards instead if you're in alter ego form, and you add each spider card discarded this way to your hand. Pretty cool. Um, looking at our some more supports and all of our upgrades here, um, a zero cost support is ejection protocol. Discard this, exhaust each interface upgrade we control, set our hit point to six and give our identity a tough status and flip to alter ego form so yeah ejection protocol this is when you're in i guess danger you can um set yourself back a bit and hope to not lose out so um you get another sport here called spider command you exhaust spider command and an interface upgrade and draw a card or you can exhaust spider command choose and discard one card from your hand and ready an upgrade huh okay cool 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 so you either get card draw or readying upgrades there and here's our four upgrade cards you get host spider where you can ready the spider suit you can get a psychic link where when the spider suit makes a basic thwart you exhaust and it gets plus two to that thwart and it already has a thwart of two, so that's pretty powerful. Um, this one is when spider suit defends against an attack, you get plus two defense, and then um, this one makes sense. Uh, the web fluid compressor, when you attack, you exhaust it and you get plus two for the attack. So that's cool. Like it's uh, Those things are awesome additions, but they're things that I can see that make sense that you can um, exhaust because you don't it's not completely necessary and so you get those four interfaces so once those four interfaces are out it's essentially you have your three cards and you have four resources and then you have cards that um, re-ready all those resources so it's pretty cool and looking at her protection deck here we get a new daredevil ally uh, where after daredevil defends move one damage from him to the attacking enemy Pretty cool. Uh, you get Spider-Man Noir, where X is equal to the number of face-down Spider-Man cards. Wait, face-down cards attached to Spider-Man Noir. After you resolve a treachery, if you control another web warrior, warrior card, attach that treachery face down here. Huh, okay. I don't, yeah, Spider-Man Noir is interesting, but it's not like you get to cancel the treachery. You have to resolve it. Mm, yeah, I don't love that card, but oh well. We get three zero cost repurpose events where you discard a tech, upgrade your control, ah, and you re ready your hero and choose thwart attack or defense until the end of the round. You get X to the chosen power. Okay, so this is like a end of game, like probably trying to finish off the health of the enemy or maybe when you're in desperate ma desperation mode with thwarting I don't know but I don't love discarding upgrades anyway you get three thw thwips um, hero action you deal one damage to a web warrior character control and you place a total of two stun cat status cards on up to two enemies. Oh, that's sick. So you do two cost event for um, 
and one damage you can dole out two stun statuses that's pretty cool and then we get three energy barriers a card we've seen before where um if we would take damage we reflect we prevent one and send it back to the enemy and then we get three force field generators it uses six energy counters when you would take any amount of damage remove that many counters here for each counter removed prevent one damage oh yeah yeah okay so it's a force field makes sense force field generator um, we get one three one cost spider tingles when you would reveal an encounter card deal one damage to a web warrior character control if that's a treachery canceled it's one revealed oh man and it's an upgrade so you can just have that sitting there that's pretty cool um wow really powerful card you can just cancel the just cancel treacheries for and deal deal damage cancer cancel treacheries for one cost upgrades that you can just have sitting there waiting until something like uh, shadows comes out that's awesome so we get spider ham awesome card um awesome hero as well uh three cost two two ally two two three that's pretty play only if you control a web warrior after spider ham attacks or thwarts discard the top card of the encounter deck for each boost icon deal one damage to spider ham oh boy okay so he can get knocked out pretty easily or have zero cost and take nothing so yeah it's pretty cool at least he has a two thwart and two attack on there so it's not completely worthless let's see we get spider-man auto octavius which is something I've never seen in the actual, like, Marvel universe, um, Otto Octavius being Spider-Man, so that's pretty cool. I'd be interested in seeing that, like, comic series. Um, he, after you play Spider-Man from your hand, you ready an upgrade, you control, and if it's a tech, draw a card. Oh, that's awesome. Awesome card with um, spider I, I feel like you ha would have to play this with the spider suit. You get to get another resource or use from your tech and you draw a card that's pretty crazy um, and then you have three limitless staminas which I see used a lot now so you, you only play this if you have oh yeah so it's just ready's your hero um, if you're a high cost card okay so yeah this is a card that helps out Hulk as well and like I'm trying to make Hulk not completely useless. So we also get Unshakable, um, you gain Steady. Wow, okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, so a cool card for Hulk, cool card for anyone with 14 printed resources. Um, and then now onto her obligation, she gets an Inherited Burden. Um, you may flip to Alter Ego Forb. You could either exhaust Penny Parker and remove this from the game, or choose and discard one interface upgrade you control and discard this. Oh, wow. So most of the time, yeah, this is just a flip to Alter Ego and exhaust her. Not too terrible. Um, and then her actual nemesis, which I know nothing about, the spider suit. So, oh, it's Morbius. Nice. Um, Morbius is laying siege to the city, wreaking havoc and siphoning energy from the power grid. Hmm. So this comes out and as an additional cost to thwart, you must spend a energy resource. Okay. And then here is Morbius. Wow. Okay. After the engaged hero generates any number of resources, deal an equal amount to that hero damage. Wow. Okay. So that's... Something you're trying to get rid of him as soon as he comes out. Um, you get energy drain and then three energy drain treacheries um, where you have to spend resources or take some damage. Alrighty, so that's the end of her actual deck. Um, I'm sure, I don't know if I'll ever play just the basic deck with spider suit, but let's see the rest of the cards here. Um, okay, so we get just a few we only get these three um, leadership cards and it's clarity of purpose which is a, an absolutely necessary card for spider ham and like 
his leadership decks. Um, it makes it insanely powerful. So we get clarity of purpose. Max one for player. You exhaust the card and deal dam one damage and generate a resource. So for example, with um, Spider Ham, you're generating two resources and taking a damage. Pretty crazy. Um, and then now we get our new modular scheme. So we get the Iron Spiders Sinister Six. Huh, okay. So we have Grand Larceny side scheme. Who's the Iron Spider? Is that Spider Suit, I guess? I don't know. Um, so let's see, so we get Bombshell. Two, three, four. We get Electro. Hobgoblin, um, Iron Spider. I oh, don't know. This is this is Iron Spider already. Cool, cool, cool. When he comes out, or Guard Patrol Retaliate One Toughness. Woo wee. And gains Overkill. That's a tough enemy there. And then we get their version of Sandman. Oh wow, you're discarding a lot of cards with that one. And Spot. I'm not familiar with Spot at all. Hmm. Spot was defeated without excess damage. You shuffle him into that counter deck. Surge and Crime. Huh. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Actually, I like that this encounter deck um, or modular set. I like modular sets with um, minions. They're pretty fun. So, anyway, that is everything that's in the uh, Penny Parker Spider Suit set and Hero Pack. I appreciate you joining and watching along. Um, yeah, I am excited to get out and play the spider suit. Let me know what you think of um, Penny Parker when you've played. So, um, we'll see you next time.